Well, uh, so the distress signal's out. I just have to wait. How, how, right? How many, how many days is that? Uh, a while. <laughs> yeah, so this life pod is a nice little kind of starting area because basically it's entirely self-sufficient. It just gives you the tools and you can make whatever you want. Right now. Um, one of the ways to unlock new stuff to craft is if you make a... Hello? Check around the left side of that. That's, that's the right side. Sorry. Getting used to these controls. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is actually what I was talking about. So there's fragments of different like bits of technology around like this. Um, so if you make a scanner, you can then scan them, and once you scan enough fragments, you unlock a different uh, schematic to make something. Oh, okay. Uh, the Sea Glide is like, um, you know those like little propeller thingies that divers grab onto and they just like woo through the water? Yeah. That's a Sea Glide. Oh. That's very good. Okay. Makes you go really fast. Helps you get away from stuff. All right. Um, do I have a map on, like, to... No. Okay. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, so I could easily lose this? Not necessarily. Just always remember where the big wreckage is, and then just kind of navigate by that. Okay, I think I'm going to go towards the big wreckage a bit. So, like, whenever, you know, whenever you go in a direction, think, oh, I'm going in this direction from the... Whoa. Big... Oh, yeah, yeah, those guys. Oh, that's safe. It's just a rock. It's just it's got little buddies on it. Oh. Why? The floaters. What do I get from them? Uh, you can put floaters on other stuff, and they float them up. Drop. Hmm. Oh, also you'll notice there's a beacon on your pod. So... Two points of, uh, so you'll always see that beacon. Okay, that's good. So your two points of travel is basically like, wh where is it in relation to the big ship and my pod? Gotcha. Okay, right there. Okay, going toward towards. Okay. Wow, it's so big. Were we the only people on there, or were we just the only survivors? Um, oh, oh, I saw something. Uh, so this this game actually has a story, so I'm not going to spoil it. It does have a story, okay. And the map is not randomly generated, so I actually Whoa, wow. know where stuff is. Oh, Mantis guy. He's fun. Not Mantis. Um, Manatee. Is he scary? No. Okay. Uh, that being said, this is an odd habit that you'll pick up, but it's definitely good to swim under the water as much as possible. Did I mention the sound design is awesome in this game? Why do I want to swim under the water as much as possible? Uh, because when you're above the water, you can't see what's underneath you, and it's better to see stuff coming. Where did he go? He just went up and over. They just kind of hang around. There's, there's some pretty cool stuff. I would highly recommend... Um, oh, there he is. Uh, just so you know, if he does feel threatened, he will let a stinky one rip. Okay. What are you trying to tell me, though? Uh, I don't even know. You're saying I would recommend. I would recommend. Uh, yeah, that way. Sure. But no, for the general starting-ish area, you're not going to run into anything too, uh, too threatening. Um, and you'll know when you do. Okay. Did the guys I run into before, can I kill them with my knife? Uh, I don't think so. Your uh, the knife is more of a tool for harvesting stuff. Oh. Um, you don't actually have much in the way of combat capabilities in this game. Oh. Uh, think of yourself. Oh, well, my inventory's full already. Oh boy. Hello. Oh, wait, look up a little bit. Okay, no. Just good. You ain't gonna die yet. 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 I'm picking up too much 
junk. Yeah, you should you should really uh, try and make the sea glide because the sea glide is going to expand where you can go quite a bit because it goes really fast. Turn around. right a bit. And up a bit. You see that guy? 30 seconds. Ah! No! He's a big boy. Whoa. He's a friendly boy though. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. They're friendly? Mm hmm. Maybe it's friendly! They're, they're kind of like sentient. Oh my god, pilots. so deep. When did that happen? I am swimming to surface, thank you. But yeah, make a sea glide, it'll help you get around a lot. Should I run back quick and drop off my inventory? Yes. Okay. Also, you need to figure out what it takes to make a sea glide. Okay. Yeah, I noticed th this game was made by like third party independent developers and whatnot, not like a big uh, steal all your money company. Um, EA, it's in the game. <laughs> E.A. It's no longer necessarily in the game. <laughs> E.A. It's in the game. For $2.99. For $2.99. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so check to see exactly what it's going to take to make... Oh, no, you need a scanner to then get the parts for a sea glide. Okay, but so I need a scanner. Okay. Yeah. Because right now you're kind of you're kind of locked in your starting area grab you. where you, you can make some water yeah you can go you know fairly deep but the fact that you have to go like all the way back up at the pace you're going means that you're not actually going to get too terribly far from your starting area and you got to get out there to explore um not just because it's good for you know like getting new stuff but also because that's the main draw of this game is honestly just exploration just okay. finding new biomes new creatures new resources new Awesomeness, new ways to craft your pants. Gotcha. Uh, okay, so I need to figure out what it takes to make a fabricator. Yep. Continued degradation of the auroras. Drive scanner. May oh. result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Hmm. Yeah, scanner is up top. Uh, did you hear what the lady was saying? No. Oh, uh, she was saying that basically the drive core of the big ship that you ejected from is uh, still degrading. So there's a possibility at some point it will blow up. Oh, okay. I just need a battery. Oh, nice. Uh, I need, hey. Oh, I just need to pick up my thingies. Hey, mushrooms. They're useful. They're very useful. Yay! Especially uh, if you get far enough where you make a... Um, you make like a, a bio uh, something 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 how generator. much storage do I have hmm? that much oh sh that's okay just pick up a couple and then okay what am I gonna do with all my stuff uh, you make cool stuff that's an, another tool you can oh, make is right. down at the bottom that uh, you'll see here in a second it allows you to create um, like base stuff and whatnot. There you go. Acquired. And all the way down. You need a computer chip and a wiring kit. Okay, but, I'm, but I'm doing this, right? Yes. Okay. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Hmm. Cool. Should I make something? Um, I just hold off. Like you could make a waterproof locker. That's gonna give you more storage space. Um, I need storage space though. Oh yeah, then just make a waterproof waterproof locker. Where, where do I put that? Anywhere. I can I just I carry it with me or what's going on? Uh, you, you gotta. What does that mean? You gotta like put it somewhere. I gotta put it somewhere. Um, I'm not sure if you can put it in your pod, but I know you can just put it outside of your pod. Like, just out in the water, and it just stays there. Okay. I'll do that. Oh, it's dark again. I'll just, like, put it here. And I just need to get rid of some of my stuff, because I don't need all this stuff with me. No. Oh, that's, 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 It's not terribly big. But it helps. 
But yeah, so just go around, find wreckage spots, and scan stuff. Okay, oh, oh, there was... You're getting a radio message, Joe. Do we need to go back? Yeah. Radio message. You, you remember, you're, you're, you're lost on a water planet. Oh, I And suppose. you're hoping for rescue. Hello. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. Ooh, we're Life plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Hmm, I've bought three people. Wait, so you can meet people? <laughs> You're not gonna tell me, huh? Nope. Oh, damn it. That B story. Oh. Oh yeah, you can just scan everything. Everything to get like Yay. details on them. The, I saw. What's that? That's the Lifebot three. Oh, okay. I. Whoa. It's a big rock. It's moving really uh, the day night cycles fast. are fast pretty fast um so i saw one of those thingies um i'm just trying to remember was it down here uh i actually can't really remember they're they're fairly commonplace just swim around and look for wreckage and just go scan it you know boxes or yeah i just i know i found one i'm just trying to remember where I found it. Hmm. I don't know if I remember. Okay, well I know there was there was a couple towards where I was going before that I saw in the corner of my eye. Yeah, sir, just kind of do loops around your uh, around your pod, getting like a little farther out each time, um, because they should have most of the sea glide stuff, if not all the sea glide stuff, you know, very close to the pod, because it's one of the first things that you're going to want to make. Oh, okay. What's that? It's a thing. Yeah, just look for... Oh, some. What? Ow! Ah, uh, he exploded on you. Hey, oh, freezing. is that what that was? Yeah. You're okay, though. You still got a decent amount of health. Oh, box. There's a box! Eh. Yes! You only need two of them. Wait, is that another one? That's easy. This? Not to your left. Or behind you now, to your right. Is this not? This looks like one. Oh, it's close, though. Um, Only some of the boxes have bits. Closed. What's that ball thing right there? Because sometimes they're just... Oh, that's a grav trap. You can use grav traps to... Uh, oh. Can, uh, grav traps... I forget if they can actually help with larger creatures, but you can just set them, and then basically it'll just pull set all of the smaller fish towards it, and then you can just run in and just pick them all up. Oh, you got a sea glide! Now you just have to make it. Now every fragment that's a sea glide, or you know, basically a technology that you already have figured out, uh -huh. when you scan it, it just gives you a uh, titanium. Oh, sweet. Scan the brain. Wait, I already scanned it. Why does it want me to scan again? Oh, I don't think you finished scanning it. Oh. And the bubble gets in the way. Oh, really? There you go. Okay. Granted, scanning, um, scanning anything outside of, like, technology stuff, it's all, uh, flavor text. Oh, excuse me. It's all what? Flavor text. So it's not like... Oh, we're giving you new stuff that helps you in any way, shape, or form. It's more like, oh, I can go into my journal, my little diary, and then I can read about the ecosystem in which this plant and species thrives. I see. Which is actually very interesting. That's why it's flavor text, because that's flavor, but, you know. Okay. It's not important to, uh, you know, you not dying. Hey. Hey. Hey.